Hi, I'm Paweł Spychalski and today, today unfortunately is a very sad day because today I will have to say goodbye to my 3D printed 3 copter. So honestly, it's nothing serious. But before we proceed, um, why I'm inside of my car, not outside, because as you can see, there's a beautiful weather outside and the sun is shining and everything is great. The winter, no, the winter, the spring is here and birds are singing, grass, grass uh, is uh, growing. It's because of the wind. It's uh, bloody so windy today that recording any video with audio is just impossible outside so i'm inside of my car and today today yes today it will be the last video the last flight of my 3d printed three copter why i'm getting rid of this design i just realized that i was not flying with the three copter this three copter for more than a year it's only hugging some parts hugging some motors i want to use in a different project so unfortunately the the three copter will be today after i will go home and uh, put apart into pieces some pieces will be thrown away because those are only 3d prints and some pieces will be used in the different projects I already made a short video about this uh, three copter like a year ago, but like I said, from different reasons, I was not really proceeding with flights with this uh, device, mainly because 3D copters are special and 3D copters are not really meant for the style of flying when you crash, because almost every crash that all in any way involves hitting the tail motor usually means the servo gears inside are broken and the servo has to be replaced and so on and so on and so on and even the best servos or at least the, the kind of expensive servos have has so much um, loose uh, they are so loose on the on the shaft that even even when the thing is not supposed to be moving you see it's it's always it's always slightly loose on the motor and this unfortunately means that uh, this is this is the way this is why we are not uh, using three copters for the acro or racing or, or anything like that still it was a very cool project i kind of learned a lot about the design 3d printed design while uh, creating this stuff uh, by the way the frame uh, itself uh, it's on the Thingiverse, so if you would like to build yourself a three copter based on on this, you can just download the file, print them, and uh, assemble everything with enough of long screws, and you will have your own cheap. Because really, come on, the frame is cheap. It's only the cost of the PLA because this this one is printed with PLA plastic, and and that's all. So um, unfortunately, that's that's the end of the road for the three copter and um, and yeah so now a short dvr footage or maybe not a short maybe i will crash in the spectacular way and everything will go go kaboom or maybe not we will see we will see we will see and um, so it's either thank you for watching and uh, until the next one or we will see each other after the dvr footage if there will be some kind of the spectacular crash it's me from the future i remember why i was not flying this thing because this thing flies like flies like shit. Either there is a case when there is no vibrations on the yaw, but then the yaw authority is gone and the tail is all over the place, which results in the shitty flight, or, the, or you push the gains high enough that it's solid, but then it's vibrating all over the place and it's bad uh, bad flight either way so perhaps perhaps with better components more stable servos more expensive servos uh, with faster protocol perhaps this thing would fly better but i don't want to go that way no i don't definitely don't want to go down that road again for the first time so three copters and me probably we are not compatible i'm sticking with airplanes and quads that's all for today until the next one bye bye